Just ask me where we're going, I'll just hold on to that. There he is. Naughty little treats down here. Obviously, carbohydrates. Pre done and actually jam packed with sugar. Here we go, guys. Check it out. One of my favourite dishes. Obviously, not keto at all. I love my modified car so much. For a keto diet. Show you anything else that's interesting that pops up on the lot of the way. <laughs> Could be a bit rude, actually. 180. Right, one hour in English. Mm, 250. <laughs> it's a bit hot, isn't it? I must admit. It smells like the sulfur and everything. It's got a really yuck. Uh, do not come elos. Do not come elos. Hey, it's just crazy. It just comes all natural from the ground, isn't it? Look, he's on holiday. I am good. Yeah, they're alright. No, they're not alright. They're wet. <laughs> this is the way to our hotel, isn't it? Wow. Oh, fabulous. Oh, wow, look at that. That's awesome. But why do they make it so low? And it comes up to my nipple. The classic Thai freezer. Check it out. All the different Thai dishes that they got. No English here, though. Everything here just like shuts so friggin' early. Pommel Yang, the pork net. Delicious dish. You've really got to try it. Oh, yeah, what's up guys, how are you doing? We're on a freaking new day as always. Oh my god, can you see it's well bright. <laughs> so in this uh, video, we're heading off down to Chiang Mai for this little series. Haven't been back down there for absolutely freaking ages. Almost, I don't know, 24 years or so. So looking forward to see how much it's changed. Anyway, we're in a little bit of a rush now because uh, mum and her take like 500 hours to get freaking ready. And uh, yeah, anyway, we're just about to try and get a taxi now to Dongmuang uh, International Airport or Domestic Airport or whatever airport you want to call it. So yeah, anyway, enough waffle, see you in a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here we are, just arrived at Dongmun Airport. Just got dropped off by the taxi guy. Awesome. Takes us there, no problems. Helps put the luggage in, takes the luggage out. Why can't all taxi drivers be like that over here? They're normally absolutely terrible, but well done, decent taxi drivers. Anyway, we're just, uh, I'm just waffling, so yeah, we're just checking in now. But anyway, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, it's a nice bit of air con. Oh, yeah, so freaking hot. Yeah, just, just ask me where we're going, and I just told them Thailand. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there we are, so just gone through our to check in and everything. Got all our bags in okay, just done all the scans, no problem with all the power banks or anything. So we're just heading off down to uh, Seven now to get a bottle of water or something. Four years to this month, I was last year. God, yeah, where does the time go, eh? Okay, just got a bottle of water in Seven, there's only one bottle more in here. And uh, by the way, I'm not sure if you uh, watch my uh, travel, Eng travel vlogs to England and everything. Check out that, the freaking Daleks, they freaking find me. The Dong Muen Airport, how freaking scary are they? Trust that face is following us as well. Bloody hell. Anyway, we're just about to uh, meet Mum back at the um, awaiting area and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, that's cool. Here he is. Check it out, guys, just got onto the plane now. Oh my word, it's surprising how much smaller this is compared to like the freaking Emirates right back of England, obviously. But uh, yeah, crazy. There we go, wicked. Anyway, hopefully the flight goes smoothly and does. Uh, see you on Chiang Mai. Check it out, just got off the plane at Chiang Mai Airport. First time in Chiang Mai for like 24 years. Mental. Oh, fingers crossed we don't have a problem with our suitcase like we did uh, coming back from friggin' Dubai to <laughs> Bangkok. It's about the quickest bag claim ever. It took about what, friggin' like 10 seconds and we got it. And obviously, it's, as it's a domestic flight, they have to show the passport to come through. So now we're just uh, waiting for our driver and maybe going to get something to eat. So I'm feeling quite friggin' peckish at the moment. Mum's not, which is a change. Oh, check out that mural thing on the wall, the elephants. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Check it out, here's our private red mobile. We're just getting in the back now. Right? Oh, yeah, my bag just got caught in the back of that. We're absolutely flying in the, in the lorry thing. The song thing up. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Could have been worse, could have been worse. Anyway, we're just getting driven to a restaurant now. I'm going to get some cow soy, like local northern food. One of my favourite dishes. I don't, I don't have it that much either. But uh, yeah, absolutely freaking delicious. Anyway, so, uh, see you in the restaurant. Check it out, just got dropped off here. Got some naughty little treats down here. Obviously carbohydrates, those ones. Here's our mum's favourite. This is the coconut and the pandan. That one by the way. And my prow wan. And obviously the mini pineapples. And there's a dog over there. Check it out, hello dog. Like and subscribe, did you say? Good dog. Mm, check out this menu, loads of awesome dishes here. Lots of northern food. This one, like I said about, is awesome. Yeah, so check it out. They've got a couple of Thai desserts as well, like water, chestnut and coconut, grass jelly and everything, and the sweet coconut milk one. And all, all of these, unfortunately, are probably pre-done and actually jam-packed with sugar. I was going to get a nice coffee as well, but they're pre-done as well, so full of, full of sugar. So go for basics, water. 
don't want to be too too crazy with the carbs. Shit, here we go guys, check it out. One of my favourite dishes that I hardly ever get. And it comes with like this vegetable tea as well. You normally get it with like the, the red onion and the mustard greens and a bit of lime juice. Check it out, it looks awesome. Here we go, we got some site oha, which is the northern Isan sausage as well. Northern sausage. And we got some Barbie at Hard, which is obviously the spring rolls. Check them out, that's not a bad price. And we got some right over there. The chicken satay, obviously chicken satay, and that obviously comes with peanut sauce, pork satay, not the chicken satay, and then it comes with the vegetables as well, and like a bit of sweet and vinegary sauce. There we go. Thank you very much, pork satay, not chicken. Mm. There you go, guys. Check it out. Is like the curry sauce, and it's um, okay. This one, I wouldn't rave. Obviously, you've got the pre cooked noodles, and then you've got the crispy ones on top. I say it's one of my favorite dishes, but this one is a it's all right, it's all right, and it's special. And the spring rolls are all right as well. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for a keto recipe of this because I must do one, I really must. Me and mum just got uh, what's it called, pandan coconut pandan one to uh, share. What do you think of that? That's the agar agar, that's the difference to the gelatin. Agar agar crumbles more as the gelatin is like chewier. What do you prefer? The other one, I mean. Mm. You? Yeah. Okay, so there we go, guys. Just finished eating at the Cow Soy restaurant. You can check it out if you want. If you're in Chiang Mai, um, ask me for the link and everything, I'll write it down there. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was just okay. I was a little bit disappointed for a restaurant that specializes in Cow Soy. Um, yeah, a little bit watery, a little bit bland and everything. But anyway, we're just heading off now. I think we're going to like a water spring or something, a yeah. hot spring or something at the moment. So um, yeah, catch up with you there. See you in a bit. Just having a pit stop at 7-Eleven now while we head off to like the hot springs and then the hotel and got a little uh, Magnum as well. It's absolutely baking hot today. It's so nice having no ice cream. Obviously not heat up at all, but a uh, little treat here and there. It's not the end of the world. Mm. Magnum, so freaking good as well. Oh, yeah. oh, check out that guys, we just come out the freaking uh, song telly thing, look at the car we parked next to, that is awesome, I love my modified car so much, that is well nice, check out that, wicked, that is beautiful. Check it out, just going to get a smoothie now, look at that one, for a keto diet, <laughs> oh, no added sugar in this one, it's quite good to see you though for a change, I'm going to go for a coconut though. But well, check it out guys, so here we are at uh, the hot springs, we are on, like, on the way to our hotel and he said do, you want, do we want to stop off here, so yeah why not, there's a uh, hundred bar to get in unless you're a Thai person, so uh, yeah I managed to have a stink and say I live here and blah 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 and I got it at the, the Thai price which uh, I should do really for God's sake I've been here freaking like 12 years and uh, yeah check it out we're at the hot springy place now, really nice absolutely cracking day, really really hot today. Um, yeah, check it out. Beautiful. Check out the tree behind us. Well, nice. They've got a nice, lovely load of flowers and everything down here. Wee. And uh, there's me falling them over. So, yeah, anyway, we're just going to have a explore around here and everything, and I'll show you anything else that's interesting that pops up like, along the way. <laughs> Could be a bit rude there, couldn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there we go. Just come out. Ooh, just come out the other side. Look at that tree. Looks even better. Awesome. There we go. We've got the lovely half an hour foot massage, 160. Half an hour, 160. Let's write it in Thai. For Nung Chua Mong, one hour, 180. That's right, one hour in English, mm, 250. Hmm, wonderful. I'm just thinking what? I think so, because you can hear water. Oh, that's quite interesting. Interesting place. Check out the temperatures. I say they've got all, here's all the hot springs and whatnot. It's a scorching day though. Oh, yeah, it's like 40, 35 to 40, and you come out this bit a bit further, 50 to 55. Check out that. Obviously way hotter here, obviously you're nearer the source, check it out. And they're all spread, look, check it out in the background. I thought it was a, what's it called, a fountain, right, technically. I guess it sort of is, but natural. A little bit hot? <laughs> it's a bit too hot for me. It's a bit hot, isn't it? I must admit, it's pretty friggin' hot. That's friggin' bacon. 50 to 55 Celsius is uh, pretty friggin' warm, actually. <laughs> it's burn your feet a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty hot, pretty hot. <laughs> Can you hear all the... Hot springs. I tell you what, guys, that freaking water is bloody hot. Bloody hot. 
Oh wow, check out this one here, they've got a bath. Look at, look at the steam out of here, mate. Oh my God, mental. Now this one, I wouldn't recommend putting your feet in. This is probably for cooking like, your eggs. Wow, look at that. Oh my word. Oh, check it out, can you hear it? It's so freaking loud. You can smell like the sulfur and everything. It's got a really uh, sort of smell. Oh, bloody hell, that's, that's mental. Wicked, absolutely wicked. Check out this one. This is like a super, super hot one as well. Yeah, it's pouring out. You can see the steam at the background. So it might probably a bit too hot for a bath in there as well. I'm not too sure of the temperature of that one. But I say down there is around about 50 to 55. I don't know. Well, I put my feet in. I tell you, it's probably around about 60 or something. It's bloody, bloody hot. I tell you. Wow, check out this one here, guys. Do not come elos to the fountain. It's 105. Do not come elos. Don't come elos. Yeah, I think the E is supposed to be a C. <laughs> Check it out, 105 Celsius, there we go, hot springs. Wow, look at that. Oh, look, check it out, all the different, like, all like, the different, like, bacteria and everything. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's just, this is crazy, isn't it? All of this is, like, natural. Heating from the lower extremities of Earth. Yeah, it's just crazy, it just comes all natural from the ground, isn't it? That's, yeah, pretty freaking cool. Except the natural uh, piping, of course, but... <laughs> check it out, look who's on holiday. I am Groot. Do you like it? I am Groot. Hot inside? I am Groot. Okay, thank you very much. I am Groot. <laughs> ah, check it out. Just uh, relaxing in the hot springs. It's so nice. I say it's so beneficial for your health is getting a hot treatment. So good for you. Same as like a sauna. Very similar to a sauna. There's mum. Look at that. It's yawning away. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, it's bloody hot in here though, look. Oh, I'm always sweating though, to be fair. Sorry? Yeah, they're all right. No, they're not all right, they're wet. <laughs> oh, bugger. Have a... Oh, God. Pink feet, pink feet, check it out. Oh, my word. Oh, that was lovely, though. Look at that, my feet feel well nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, check it out, guys. Look, I thought they were fake. These are amazing. Look how beautiful these freaking orchids are. Wow. They're fantastic, aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. Look at them. They're yeah, beautiful, they really are. And there we go then guys, that was the hot springs. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool, or pretty freaking hot actually. Some, some of those bits of water were freaking baking. Drops of water were baking. Anyway, yeah, so we just finished having a butch in there and the chill, resting. And my feet, oh, my feet feel really nice actually. It's probably because of the heat more than like the minerals. A little bit sore at the same time. Like I had it like a 55 Celsius, 60 Celsius, and then moved down to like a 40 Celsius. Oh yeah, so definitely check it out if you're in Chiang Mai, it's not bad at all, like I say 100 baht if you're a foreigner, 50 baht if you're Thai, and uh, that annoys me all that stuff, but uh, yeah, anyway, we're just coming to the Song Town now, and about to head off to the, uh, not airport, to the hotel, see you in a bit. I think we just lost our transport, there we go, I think it's this one, there we go, yeah, check it out. Mario! Mario! For God's sake, there we go. Check it out then. Just come out the car, look at this. Oh wow. I've no idea where we're going though. Oh, look at all the trees and everything. Oh, check out this. We just got off the van, look at that. How awesome is that? Whoa, that's a bit wobbly. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. Check it out guys, this is the way to our hotel, look at it. Freaking awesome or what? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so freaking tropical, it's unbelievable. Freaking awesome. Oh, temperature, then you come out the, it's absolutely freaking scorching hot day today. I say the temperature, then you come up into the mountains and that, we're right up high in the mountains, near Lamban a little bit, and uh, the temperature's cooled down a hell of a lot, it's much better temperature. Oh, it is for me anyway, so I'm freaking hot 24-7. Oh wow, check it out, look at this, this is so cool. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, I don't know. I just lost the bird that's taken us to our room. <laughs> okay, see you in a second, I'm signing off now. Here we go. Here's our room. Check it out. Wow, look at that. Wow. Is this it here then? This one? Oh, there you go then. Wow. 
Um, <laughs> well, it's a big room. Big room. There's a, check it out then, guys. Our room. <laughs> What's this one for? Friggin' midget. This one's for a hobbit or something. Bloody hell. Oh, we did have a kettle and everything, so we could have had a cup of tea. We've got something in there anyway. Yeah, we've got some waters. Oh, we got a uh, nice, uh, nice hole in the bed, Mum. Okay, there you go. Got a fan on there. Where's the air con? I know. I know, but homestays can have air con. That's a stupid comment. Oh, bloody hell. And here we are in the bathroom. Check it out. Got a nice sink. Here. Oh, this, bloody hell. The bathroom and everything is much bigger than the room. Really? Oh, there we go. The bed's hard, apparently. There you go. Obviously, the toilet shower. Bloody hell. <laughs> These showers are annoying me. Like, why do they make it so low? It like, comes up to my nipples. It's like you can just clean my nipples. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, yeah, there you go. There's the shower. Everything. There's the toilet. There's the doodah. We've got a wardrobe in here, I think. Yeah, there's a wardrobe in there with a couple of uh, coat hangers in here. We've got a hair dryer. So, yeah, that's the room then. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but like right in the, the top of the hills, like in the northern Thailand. So, yeah, there you go. There's a little bed here and uh, this bed here. They're not really beds. They are frigging bricks with a frigging duvet on. Oh, my. That is just wood. That's wood. Mm. That's nothing on that at all. No, you can't there sleep. No, really that's box. There is something. That's box. No, there is something. Oh, my. What the hell? That's, that's nothing. That is like, I'd rather sleep on the floor. Okay, these have got to be the worst beds I've ever been to in Thailand, seriously. Uh, worst beds. Number one worst beds in the whole of the friggin' universe, I tell you. That is mental. Look, look. look. Mum, 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 you can't sleep on that, Mum. You're going to have to ask for something. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So anyway, we're just going to get settled in and whatnot now and then uh, have a butchers around and yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Cheers. Check it out. So we just literally come out of our room. Look, we've got the waterfall, waterfall, like a stream and everything. Oh, fantastic. Uh, it's definitely nicer outside than inside the room, I'll tell you. Right, okay, got rooms up here. Oh, it goes all the way into the mounting at the top. Light in a little bit of a crest, look. Oh, mate, wicked. Come over this side. Check it out, got all the flamingos which don't move much. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That's awesome. And there's our... And there's our room right there. Yeah, check out the size of this banana leaf. It's fucking huge. It's well big. What do you think, man? You like it? Yeah. It's like same about the beds, yeah. I think it's worst beds ever. Yeah, same inside, isn't as nice as outside, I tell you. Oh, yeah, it is lovely. Oh, those banana leaves are humongous. Okay, check it out. We just come out of the friggin' hotel. So, yeah, here's the road down here. Look at that. It's well steep. Look at that. It's going to be fun trying to, trying to climb back up of this. <laughs> Wow. It's a shame we haven't got any roller blades or a skateboard. That would have been fun. <laughs> hmm. Not as nice as the other one, but not bad. Nice wheels, lowered, nice uh, body kit, bumpers and side skirts. Nice. Check it out, walking down the road a bit now. Look at that, all the old village. Look at that, awesome. Uh, check it out, we've got a Mugata place, a barbecue pork thing. I don't know what else we've got, probably not much, there's only a handful of shops up here. Check out all the lanterns on there, that's awesome, isn't it? Nice. Check it out. Oh, the old house up here. Well, that looks nice up there, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it's quite a nice few old little buildings here, it looks so nice with the... Probably not that old, but it still looks awesome. All the wood, classic sort of style, nonetheless. Always oh, nice with the streams and everything and here in water. Oh, it's awesome, look at that, eh? Bit pongy, though. <laughs> Check it out. Friggin' freaking Japanese as well. There we go. What's on cow soy again? Famous Northern Curry. Hopefully it's better than that one this morning. <laughs> oh, careful the cars in the room. Classic. The classic Thai freezer. Check it out. Fai ua me nim. Me gambong. There you go. There's the different stuff they got up here. All the different Thai dishes that they got. No English here though. Right, well, but it's quite nice there, isn't it? Yeah, hell of a lot busier than I thought it was going to be. Hell of a lot busier. Look, look at all the people down there. Well annoying. Mm, go, what have we got? Snacky things. And we got some, what have we got? Mian Kham. Oh, I love Mian Kham. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Some banana luchin stuff. I think, no, banana. Uh, luchin. Mubing. Here we got a load of the drinks. Here we got nothing. <laughs> 
is even less than nothing, if that's possible. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's the old, uh, the entire old village. There you go. And you know, this place has got a few different sort of snacky things. Like there's sort of sweet stuff. There's like the bananas. There's like the sweet potato. Some sausage. Eggs. Like a lot of sort of snacky stuff. What do you fancy then? Do you fancy anything up there or do you just want a couple of snack things or what? Uh, check it out guys, just been walking down the village a bit. Everything here just like shuts so friggin' early. All these restaurants are closing at like, 7 o'clock so we've only got a few more minutes. Check it out, the food's just come now. I've got some cow soy again. Hopefully it's better than the one earlier. This one is with beef. It's a delicious dish, you've really got to try it if you come to like Shanghai and that. And uh, we've got a pandan drink as well. Love the taste of pandan, you really should try it. Mm. Really nice, so easy to make as well. Unfortunately, obviously they had added sugar as well. If you're doing it in your home and everything, use a riff or that. Anyway, that's nice. I'm just gonna get some uh, vegetables for this. Uh, so we get the, um, no, I didn't really want it. So unfortunately we got the non-crispy omelet with rice, which is exactly what we didn't want. We wanted the nice crispy one. Check it out, we got the Hormel Yang, the pork net. Really delicious. Uh, and then uh, check it out, I got the Son Dum. It's obviously more of an Isan dish than uh, Northern Thai dish, but um, it looks uh, all right. That's the food. And here's a million people taking photos in front of a bloody wall all the time. I don't know why it's so famous about it. And yeah, there's the restaurant. Like, be careful when you get out, because... <laughs> right over the edge. So, yeah, at least mum's got the tree. It's, yeah, it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> One a hand. What the hell's wrong with these people? They're just taking millions of pictures about this bloody wall. What's so special about the freaking wall? It's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, just seeing this, eating at that cow soy restaurant again. Cow soy, again, was just uh, so-so. A bit better than lunch, but uh, yeah, still not the best. But it's just disappointing, really, when it's freaking like uh, Chiang Mai and it's freaking northern food. But uh, yeah, the beef in there was absolutely delicious and uh, the pork was nice. The rest was a bit meh. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. We're just heading back up to the uh, room now. I think we need a friggin' uh, ski lift or something. It's friggin' well I. Boss, check it out, guys. We just got back to the room. Oh my god, freaking staff at this bloody hotel place are really crap. They really are quite bloody rude. Like, we get back and um, we try to like ask for an extra, um, like um, a pillowcase, or not pillowcase, what they called a, a topper thingy, as it's rock solid here. So we want to get one for mum. Oh, don't have it. I was like, well, what room are you in? I was like, room two. Well, how many people are there? I was like, was that was that, isn't it? Or well, don't have it. I was like, okay. Where are you sleeping? Like on the bed. What bed? The double bed. Where's she sleeping? On the double bed. Where's she? Where's she sleeping? On a single bed. It's just for three people. It's not rocket science. Oh, we don't have anything. I know you were told you didn't have anything. Find out. And then she says, oh, we should have booked another room. If we booked another room, then it would have been all right. So apparently, if we book another freaking room, then the bed suddenly becomes soft. I, I don't know, absolute rude twat. And then about a couple of minutes ago, they just come in with a topper. I like, oh, thank you very much. Lobbed it in, stormed right off. Like, mm. I don't know what the hell their bloody problem is. Anyway, that was today's video. Just a bit of ranting and raving there. So, yeah, probably wouldn't recommend this place after the star's behaviour. Absolutely shocking. Like, that sort of nice location. Room's a bit crap. The bed is terrible, the worst ever. And the staff are even worse. So, yeah, there you go then. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, coming out to Chiang Mai and everything. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we're heading off down to another location, which is where? Mong Gem. Mon Gem. Mon Gem. We're heading off to Mon Gem tomorrow and doing some stuff along the way. So anyway, stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, take care, stay cool, and I'll see you on the next video. And there we go then, guys. That was uh, what's it? Cam Peng. Cam. Cam. Good day. Yeah. And there we go then, guys. That was the hot springs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>